I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to show you a wet, dry, wet inspired routing setup that works great live as well as in a recorded context if you want separate control between your dry, unaffected, amped signal and your wet effects on here. To get started, I'm going to show you this preset, which is pretty typical of what I like to use live. USA Lead Mid Gain Amp, my go to Greenback Cab IR. As always, you can grab that one for free on Axchange, a little bit of multiband compression just to tame the low end, and then I've got several effects routed in parallel, a rhythmic delay, a lush lead delay, and I've got some stereo pitch detune, a little bit of plate reverb at the end, and for my lead scene, I'm using the griddle cake drive type, which has been added in the latest Axe FX3 beta release based on the awesome Crowther Audio hot cake. I'll just let you hear the first three scenes. <laughs> That's a super fun sound to play with. Now, for me, I like my tones pretty wet live because it's easier to play in a live context and I kind of have more fun when I can really soak in those delays and reverbs, especially if I kick in some pitch detune, which we will hear in a second. But in the context of a band mix, maybe the effect level needs to be adjusted up or down by the front of house engineers so that they're really happy. I wanna show you how you can have the best of both worlds here using a secondary output on your fractal device. So what we're gonna do here is disconnect these parallel effects over here. I'm actually gonna leave the reverb where it is, but we can play around with this for a second. And I'm gonna place an output two block down here. So what you can do in this context is if you're running your dry sound mono, then you only need one cable. If you want some stereo stuff, on output one, like the reverb that I've got here, you can run two cables, but it's totally up to you. I guess that might make it wet, dry, dry, wet. Doesn't sound quite as catchy, but we're gonna cable these into output two. Now, it's worth noting all of these blocks you can see are set to 100% wet mix, and I've got the bypass mode for the pitch as mute in. For the multi-delay and delay, I've got them as mute effects in, and I can either use the input gain or the level control on each block to control the total amount of effect mix in there. So what's interesting about this is on output two, which I'm recording separately, there's only gonna be the wet effects on there. So that say it's going to front of house, they can have a stereo pair that they can bring up or down to perfectly suit the mix. Or if you're recording, you've always got your recorded dry sound with no delay and pitch on it. And you can record another stereo track in your session with all the wet effects. And in post, if you gotta bring that up or bring that down, it's really easy to do. So at the moment, what I'll let you hear is just what's coming out of output two for each of these scenes. And this might look a little bit weird. absolutely nothing on scene one because all of these blocks were disabled on scene two it was only my delay sound and on scene three it was my rhythmic delay sound now of course because i recorded those two tracks separately i can let you hear that with the dry signal blended in with the wet signal <laughs> makes a lot more sense. I'll give you another example. Let's say I wanted to set up a scenario where I've got this style routing going to front of house so that the front of house engineer can control how much pitch detune is going to the audience. But I could have a separate stereo in-ear send or monitor send where I can get my front of house engineer or monitor engineer in this case to turn up just the wet 
pitch effects on there to my liking. So I can have this super saturated and wet. I'll just swap over to the UAV console over here where I've got the dry guitar sound over here and the wet guitar sound over here. I can mute the wet guitar sound and just have my dry sound and then slowly bring this up to where I like it. Actually, let's do this. I'll bring that down. And I'm gonna blend in the perfect amount of pitch detune. This would be for like my personal in-ears mix. <laughs> But if front of house wants it, it could just totally mute that channel and just get this. Now this will work on the FM3, the FM9, and the Axe FX3. You could take it to a whole nother level on the Axe FX3 with four independent outputs and you know have your delay, your multi-delay, and your pitch each go to their own output and then let the front of house engineer do what they do. They could set up your monitor mix and then set up a totally custom front of house mix that you really don't have to worry about. Now, I know that part of the joy of something like the Axe FX3, the FM9 or the FM3 is that you can dial all of these in perfectly in the box and you don't need to use separate outputs, but in a situation like I've outlined here, which would be the case for a lot of professional situations in there where you're already trusting your front of house engineer to really dial in effects blends, why not do it all in the box and then let them do their job while you do your job and everyone can be happy. If you do try this routing scheme, let me know how it goes. It would obviously work great if you had, say, three separate cabinets or a traditional guitar cabinet with some full range speakers. This wet dry wet setup really, really works great in a lot of different settings. If you do try it, let me know how you like it. And if you've got any suggestions for future Tuesday Tone Tips, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you next week. Cheers.